Hello, I'm Nikki Starr. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another Occult October build, which are slowly becoming my favourite things. And I will be very upset when this month has to end and I have to go back to non-spooky normal content. Today we're doing something that I built months ago. So you are going to have to bear with me. I am going to make a mess of this voiceover, partly because it's been so long since I built this that I have no idea what I was doing. And also partly because I still don't know how to do these. So enjoy. This is going to be an interesting ride for all of us. <laughs> so there will be a, a lot of werewolves content in this one, um, because as I said, I built it when uh, a few months ago when werewolves first came out. So the whole idea of this in my head was to be a build to come out with kind of the werewolf pack. But if you don't know, I moved around that time and so nothing happened on this channel. Everything just paused. So now we are coming back to it a little bit because it's got not only werewolf themes, but if you've seen the title, it's also got all kinds of the other occult in here. So the intent behind it was kind of like, if you've ever seen it, um, being human which is a show that had, uh, I'm going to get this wrong, I think a werewolf, a vampire and a ghost who all kind of lived together uh, and of course antics ensued. So what we've got here is kind of like a house share situation. So I'm imagining like a house that's been done up to be rented out um, and there's a lot of different occult rooms kind of thing. They're all themed for them. They've all got a kind of room to sleep in. And because of the size of the house that I built, which as you're seeing right now, is way more big than it ever needed to be. It is massive. Um, because of how big it is, they also have a couple of shared studies around. So I kind of got the idea of like, almost like a cult during quarantine kind of vibes. Everyone's working at home. Um, again, this could easily be some kind of sitcom situation where no one knows how to handle each other. <laughs> So this is just sort of the outside veneer. We're going with the kind of uh, werewolf's kind of mossy roof, very much brown from the outside. I don't think I changed that too dramatically. And then just trying to work on some form of a floor plan um, with enough space to fit. I think, I'm, I think I aimed for four. I think I aimed for four different, different sims that could live here, um, or at least four bedrooms. I think you could theoretically get more of that in. Uh, and there was a little basement because it wouldn't be a proper spooky build without a basement. Um, we haven't done anything properly spooky this month though. I do feel a little bit bad. Um, a lot of them have just been kind of occult-esque themes, but we're gonna carry on through. <clears throat> Similar to the last video, I do apologize if you get a big block of silence from me because I'm still coughing. I got COVID like two, two and a half weeks now and it will not stop. I can't stop coughing. It's just, um, it's becoming great, great fun for doing a 25 minute voiceover or whatever this is supposed to be. So uh, I don't know if I change them. I do, I do love putting those source lights everywhere and then forgetting that I need to change it to other lighting. Um, but we're going with kind of like a nice neutral wood. Uh, again, try that like brown neutral theme from the outside through. Um, and then I think that little bit there is going to be the kitchen, which kind of then leads out to their garden space. Uh, and then, then there should be, a, I think the dining room comes off of that and a living room downstairs. Uh, and again, playing with a lot of the occult packs. I don't think I limited myself necessarily the whole build through, um, but I think I did try and focus on using kind of occult uh, packs where possible, so. The other thing that has happened since I last did a voiceover is the Sims 5, oh, I should say it's not the Sims 5, the Sims 4 Summit. I don't know why I said Sims 5. <laughs> There's a lot of speculation that it would be like just an absolute reveal. I think there was even a leak somewhere that said that the um, that Sims 5 on a particular channel, on a live chat on someone... This is how well I know things. A live chat of someone who sells games was saying that it would be out in November. So that obviously is not the case. If you haven't seen it, I think they're, I assume they've got it up on their website uh, or on their YouTube. So it might be worth a watch if you're interested, but there is uh, a few skippable bits. There is a little bit where it does try and feel like they're almost trying to make it like a TV show. Um, and it's only half an hour, but 
they did show a little bit of the very 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 early stages of what will be the next sims game which is quite exciting um so that was the bit that i was paying the most attention to <laughs> um but they did start using like a project name for it started showing off a little bit the build and buy um with like being able to like resize a bed so you can have a single version which you can make into a double on the fly change certain aspects of the actual bed itself are a few interesting things that i am i am looking forward to i'm cautiously optimistic um it did look and i don't know if anyone else thought this it did look very much like power lives if you've seen any of those kind of clips they've been sending out it's got a very similar kind of animating style or like vibe i can't really put my finger on what is that makes it feel very similar to me but it very much does uh, and there's a little thing at the end of what i assume is them teasing more baby content than we've had before uh, but it did very much look like a toddler but behind that baby there was like a play pen thing so hopefully we're getting a little bit more of stuff we can do with the babies i'm trying to work out if that works with any of the kits or not but i think the I, the teaser thing ended with that the sims 4 was expecting in 2023 so i assume that we're getting that content next year in the long run am i changing lights no i started doing it and then apparently decided against it oh so while i've been talking away we've done the whole kitchen which again going that kind of neutral browns uh, it's probably just big enough for the amount of people in this house, but uh, probably slightly lacking. Uh, and then we're going for the dining room. I think I sized that down dramatically, yes. <laughs> I also love that little radiator piece. Um, and I, because I like the idea, it's like an older rental house where they've kind of added bits and pieces to it. Um, I like the idea there's kind of old metal radiators in the corner that, you know, when the heating comes on, they bang around and they make horrible whistling noises at different parts of the day and make you think something's behind you, that kind of vibe. Um, I don't know whether I, th I think I had the vibe in my head that maybe the vampire owned the house and was renting it out because I think his or hers or theirs, uh, the vampire's room is down in the basement so uh it kind of feels a bit weird if you were renting it out um although i guess if you're renting it out and you're very vampire friendly you wouldn't be against changing one of the basement rooms i guess that's fair i'm talking absolute crap again uh so we've got ourselves a little living room space so again i'm doing kind of there's some beat up furniture but there's also some bits that are really nice it's a very strange vibe we have going on um but I very much enjoyed building this. It was another one where I just was watching something and I was just lost in this and properly enjoying myself. So a few plants and things around, but nothing overly dramatic compared to some of my previous builds. Um, if you haven't seen it, I did a green witch kind of apartment and I did a lot of plants in that one. <clears throat> it was like kind of dark, moody vibes um, and then just pops of green everywhere. Um, so this is me trying to work out what I want in each room and I probably should have cut this but I think I left these bits in there for a lot longer than I was expecting to try and work out like what would be a study what might be a bedroom uh, I think I had one that was I think I was gonna do like a skills room um, but the vibes changed the vibes changed and again outside going with that kind of neutral brown kind of tile on the floor um, nothing nothing too overly dramatic in the kind of communal spaces uh, a lot of kind of what i would expect a landlord to decide is that'll do a lot of i guess we can make this work there's one thing in my head that uh does imply that the uh, person who owns this house cares a little bit more about the occult uh the mermaid room has a whole shower in it so that's a kind of addition that you wouldn't necessarily make so maybe the maybe the mermaid owns this the mermaid was like you know what i want my own private one of those because you know it's very important to me that i'm near water at every occasion so this room i had a little bit of a idea in my head and i keep remembering the ideas i've had so this law is going all over the place um but this was kind of the vampire's room overtly so if anyone came around to visit or anyone you know asked any questions this was where the vampire uh, would you know stay and sleep if they were hiding their identity 
and then downstairs is where they actually sleep so in, in all realness this probably works more like a spare room for a bunch of them but again we're going for the very browns beige the green in the windows is probably the biggest pop of actual color um, that isn't some form of yellow in here I'm, i am changing lights or do i just put it back here we go we're looking for some character development have we got some character development did we just keep oh no we left we changed the source of lights i am surprising even myself uh turns out i can do that and i am capable so this is where I came down and did like their actual room, the actual room they sleep in. With the coffin down there, I really love that wallpaper with like the design where you're like, the light catches it in the right place. Um, I just imagined using these, oh no, apparently I got rid of using them, but I was thinking about having like the sort of soft furnishings on the side to kind of, uh, I don't know what I was doing actually. This is the problem with building it and then attempting to do a voiceover a few months later is I'm watching a speed build of me doing it and again this was edited a little while ago so I'm having a whale of a time. Don't trust me, don't trust a word I am saying. So putting a little bathroom downstairs because again I think for the amount of people or at least the amount of people this house could hold two bathrooms make sense. Uh, it is looking like it's four person i think was the aim but i've given them a load of studies which you wouldn't necessarily need so you could uh swap this out for like a big family um or if you were doing and i've seen this quite a bit over the october and i love it uh, like an occult kid challenge or we're trying to have a different uh, uh a baby by each of the occults these kind of like themed rooms uh are something that maybe you could say that the the original um, not monarch what's the word matriarch <laughs> the original matriarch maybe inherited this house um, there's just so many different rooms to them and they're kind of themed out so this is the spellcaster room um, I believe the spellcaster room is the only room that has a single bed um, mostly so I could fit that blooming cauldron in but then I think I changed my mind <laughs> um, but I liked I think I had the idea that the spellcaster might be more kind of like on their own or less likely to be interacting um maybe you know just inherently a little bit more introverted you know decides that i could have a double bed but i could also put a single bed in there and i could then fill the room with the stuff that i'm trying to do or i can practice my magic that kind of vibe i've got very academic vibe yeah but a little bit more grey in here. So again, they have been able to like probably like decorate their rooms. So they're probably quite close to the person who owns it. Um, but I, I could just imagine what kind of kerfuffles could appear in a house with this many occults. It could be a lot of fun. Now, where am I going next? What am I doing? Am I doing the mermaid room yet? I think I'm doing the mermaid room. That is a horrible colour. Please tell me I changed that. <laughs> there we go. Oh. I can't, I can't be trusted. I think I may have tried to bring the green in from the windows and uh, went a little bit too far, potentially. Um, so yeah, in this room we add in like a little uh, shower to come off the back of the bathroom. So again, trying to be a bit realistic in terms of where the plumbing might be, considering this is intended to be kind of like an old house. Um, I think I did put this in Moonwood Mill, um, so that the idea that, you know, it might have been around when it, the house was a lot older or the, the, the town was a lot older uh, and now they're kind of building on it making it a little bit more modern in some places or maybe taking a room at a time i am also obsessed with that wallpaper i am pretty sure that every second third build i do has some form of that that banana wallpaper because i'm pretty sure it was in the last video that i just posted for you guys so <laughs> it was the last video yeah in the um the sort of autumn home build for the base game going uh to free which again if you haven't heard about it um the base game for the sims is now completely free to play uh on apparently everywhere so on all the different consoles and things which is kind of uh, in part as well what the summit was there to kind of celebrate yesterday <clears throat> or not yesterday whenever I, whenever i release this video <laughs> Uh, I'm, a, I'm a hot mess today. I'm not quite sure why I'm recording. I seem to be very tired. It's been a long work day and uh, I haven't finished yet. So um, a lot of different things going on with that sort of base game element of it. And then obviously yeah, with the summit stuff, um, which is sort of another thing that, that they were saying about was a, a custom content like hub 
situation where there's an area where you can uh, I'm assuming the intention is to increase the safe availability of custom content so you're not downloading anything dodgy um, but to me it just feels like an element a little element of control in terms of what they can do with custom content or what they will curate on this particular site so it could go one of two ways <laughs> Because I know there was talk before about who could and couldn't monetize their uh, custom content and what kind of rules there were around that. So it'd be interesting to see if that continues um, as we get more and more into this. But I guess the question I wasn't sure about after the, the stream uh, is whether or not that particular platform is a PC only thing. Because actually, if that gives the console players a way to access custom content, um, then I am actually much more for uh, having that kind of system in place if it means it's not just limited to just the PC players because it's not it's not entirely fair and I think we're now at a point where there should be a way of doing that um, whether The Sims 4 because it's such an old game would actually allow it I don't know but if there's a company that will come in and help that would be amazing so going back to what we're actually here for this is the start of the kind of study areas down that i'm pretty sure i move stuff a lot of me wiggling my mouse around it seems <laughs> i bet you i bet you i was showing my partner i bet you i was giving a little tour <laughs> yeah this is me going and then this and then there's this so we've done the mermaid bedroom we did a werewolf bedroom with a lot of the new werewolf pack at that top section at the bottom there and then we started on like a downstairs study so this is where I start splitting out the personalities. So I think I put like the vampire and the mermaid in that uh, first study room. with kind of back to back desks. Um, they've got space to move it around, obviously. They can do whatever they want in that respect. But I kind of like the idea of them being back to back. Maybe the mermaid isn't always here. Maybe they're like doing that uh, ecologist career. And every so often they're popping down to the beach. So for the most part, it's kind of like the vampire's room, but sometimes the other one turns up. This is me remembering that curtains exist. <laughs> there has now been way too many of my builds where either curtains is the very last thing to be added or the whole build gets finished before I realise I forgot them and post a video. And then someone comments that uh, there should have been curtains in that. And I'm like, yeah, no, <laughs> it's a bit late now. And then down in here, we've got the kind of extra study for the werewolf and the um, sort of spellcaster so i imagined again with the spellcaster being quite a bit more introverted that actually maybe the spellcaster and the werewolf get on the best but also the spellcaster quite likes being in the basement where not everyone knows their home um, and they can sit in that back room and again the werewolf can come in and join them uh, but again everyone's sort of pairing off a little bit in terms of you know who are they best working with maybe the vampire and and the mermaid get on you know, all right, they do. <laughs> it's all okay, but it's uh, maybe not the ideal situation. Um, yeah. I do quite often do this where I build something with a vague idea of a law. And really, uh, for your purposes, I should really try and think about what I'm doing a bit more. Because um, maybe next time I can start building people. I need to actually build the Sims. Um, and so you guys can have an, a somewhat of an example of what I may be trying to do. <laughs> Although I can't guarantee it because I don't know what I'm trying to do. And I'm a little bit worried if I keep doing these voiceover uh, episodes of games uh, of the speed builds, I'm just going to end up treating it like some kind of weird place to ramble um, or a very, very small podcast. <laughs> <clears throat> so I think we add a little gym down, down here. Not sure why I put an underground gym, but so it... If you've watched any of my videos before, you will also see a pattern with my gyms. Um, nearly every single one of them is a room with random bits of equipment in a random order and those specific mirrors in every single one. Occasionally, occasionally, we'll have a TV on the wall. Oh, did I do music this time? Oh, I am branching out. I didn't do the TV in front of the uh, treadmill, which is exactly what I would want if I was doing it. Um, so because I put a basement in, for some reason, and I had foundations on, for some reason it kind of messes with the terrain outside. So I think I faff a little bit before I kind of try and move a section of it out to make it look like it's intended. And again, if the vampire is trying to hide things, the downstairs area is probably not where anyone goes. No one goes in the basement except for the people that live here. So I didn't want to make it like too obvious 
Um, but the game wanted me to be make it obvious, it turns out. <laughs> Not quite sure why adding a basement forces the whole ground up. Um, particularly when you've got a foundation. I don't know if it's just foundations. If anyone knows how to stop that happening other than don't have a foundation, please do let me know because it's very, very irritating. Um, so I did a little bit of a garden out the front. Again, in most of my builds, I don't do very much terrain painting and gardening, so I'm trying to add more of that in. But also I kind of like the idea that, uh, again, maybe the spellcaster wants to like get some herbs for like the things they're doing. So in there somewhere is like a couple of little herb bushes they can add to the cauldron. The cauldron is not uh, hidden in any way, shape or form. Everyone knows a spellcaster lives here, but, <laughs> but that is probably the extent of the knowledge of people, I guess. Um, and then we're just adding a few bits and pieces at the front. We don't have that long left, so hopefully what I do in the last few minutes are exciting and make sense and aren't me faffing around and wiggling my mouse and showing my partner a view of the house. <laughs> I think we're doing a little finishing touches and stuff now, which is always very nice. I quite like doing a little finishing touches. If we could get more packs that allow for more like finishing touches, more kind of lived in pieces. Again, I just, I love clutter. If we could have more clutter, it just looks like, you know, there's actually people living here. There's bits and pieces strewn around the house. It also just sometimes feels a bit too clean in The Sims. And I'd quite like a little bit more kind of life and uh, its grit and its dirt. So we are coming to the end. I am pausing on this platform for far too long. Um, but I will say thank you so much for watching. I really hope that I am more coherent for you in the next video we do. Um, but as always, thank you so much for watching. See you.